Hey guys, before this video begins, I just want to say go check out my Instagram page. I'll leave a link in the description below, and I post pictures of my aunts or any kind of video that I might be uploading in the future. So if you want to see a sneak peek of any of my aunts that I might showcase on my channel or any kind of video that I will upload in the future, go catch me a follow. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. So this will be a fairly short update and this is not because not that much has happened, but because you guys will be making a decision that will hold the future for upcoming videos. But onto the Eternal Terrarium, as you can see the roly polies are huddled up together and I find that they like to nest under the moss. This really reminds me of how ladybugs also do the same during winter so that they will keep warm. Here are some clips of baby roly polies and they really remind me of newborn workers because of their pale color and also their beady eyes. Also from the introduction of the baby spiders, they look much larger than before and you can definitely see them from afar. I really hope that these baby spiders won't hunt down the roly polies when they're much older since these are wolf spiders and they are deadly hunters. Here you can see the earthworms and they are probably the largest ones in the eternal terrarium. And I'm amazed at just how fast these earthworms have grown since I remember that the largest ones before were only about 2 inches in size. You can also see the dirt passing through their bodies and that is just so cool to witness. Death. Death is passed over the Eternal Terrarium. The one seemingly full of life Eternal Terrarium has turned into a graveyard. Everywhere I could look around the Eternal Terrarium, worms, the roly polies, everything, they're just all dead. This was a complete shock because the day before, they were all completely fine. There were some worms on the glass, but I sprayed them down with some water so that the springtails would have an easier time decomposing them. Luckily I couldn't find any baby roly polies, so hopefully they're okay. The moss also seemed fine, it was all green and healthy, but there was mold. There had been a small outbreak of mold on the blueberries and also part of a branch. I knew I had to take a course of action and that was to remove any kind of molding material. I didn't remove any of the worms or roly polies because I wanted the springtails to increase their population. The causes for these deaths might have been the temperature, but when I checked inside of the Eternal Terrarium and I put my hand inside, it was actually pretty warm. A second option could have been mold, but I think it would have to attach itself to the organisms for them to die. If you guys have any other suggestions, please comment them down below, because this makes me really cautious if I want to place in any more inhabitants. And this is where you guys come in. I caught 15 roly polies and 12 millipedes. Now my question is, should I introduce these roly polies and millipedes, or should I introduce the roly polies or millipedes? Be sure to participate in the poll and write down your thoughts down below. I've made this really cool moss farm and I'm planning on making updates on this as well. Unfortunately, I won't be putting any insects in here, and this is because they might eat the moss. It too has grown extremely quickly, and there's already a sapling coming about. So that will be all for this update, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to participate in the poll and check out my Instagram page if you haven't already. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos. My name is Enderance, another fellow ant YouTuber, and I'm signing off once again.